Getting a language exchange partner has expedited my Spanish further than any other method I have ever tried. I'm telling you. So you're learning a second language, probably Spanish like me, and you're trying to figure out what's a language exchange partner, how do they work, do I need to be certified in teaching somehow to do that, so where do I find one, how much does it cost, yada yada yada. I got you. All those questions are going to be answered starting now. Well, it's someone who teaches you whatever language you want to learn and you teach them the language you want to learn. Most likely you guys are teaching each other your native languages. For example, I am teaching my language exchange partner English and she is teaching me Spanish. So that's what it is. First, write a list down of things you want to learn in that language. Know your why. Why do you want to learn that language? No, you don't want to learn the language because you want to be fluent. That's the result of why you want to learn the language. For example, maybe you live in a community with a lot of Spanish speakers. Maybe you are traveling somewhere where there's a lot of Spanish speakers. Maybe you're moving across the world in a Spanish speaking country. Maybe your co-workers speak Spanish. Who knows? Know why you want to learn Spanish because that will determine when you do get your language exchange partner, what are y'all going to talk about? What are y'all going to prioritize first? Okay? Because if y'all just start teaching each other random vocabulary, random conversations, you're not really going to get nowhere because you're probably not going to use that no time soon anyway. Am I making sense? So have a list of things you want to learn that's like top of like, I want to learn this today, by next week, by the end of the month, whatever the case would be. Write a list however long you want to make it. Sit down and determine how often you would be able to meet with this potential language exchange partner. Twice a week, five times a week, between 8 and 9 a.m., between 12 p.m. and 3 p.m., what time frame and how freaking the frequency of that timing is going to work for you. Okay, because if you know this ahead of time, it's going to expedite the process of you like finding a language exchange partner when you go out and seek one. Because you already got your time, like these times work for me, so if you can't work inside of this, it's not worth us having a conversation. Okay, so know when you can, when you will be available. I recommend, depending on the importance of this language to you, like if how fast you're trying to learn it, I recommend no less than twice a week, one hour per session. Anything long, I found anything longer than like an hour, like if you're trying to force that, can be a bit more intimidating and you might not end up meeting uh, or starting with that person anyway. Now if it runs over an hour because y'all just having such good conversation, that's even better. But try to stick to one hour so it's less intimidating, especially if you're new to the language, like you know nothing about it. Start small. The time, determine the dynamic. So maybe y'all talk for a half an hour in your language and a half an hour in their language. Or if you're meeting twice a week, you just do one day is their language and one day is your language. If that works better, that works better. But determine what's going to work best for you when you go into seeking your language exchange partner. Really sit and think about your comprehension level and how much you know of that second language you're trying to learn. Because this will kind of determine the dynamic of the relationship you'll have with your language exchange partner. If both of you basically know zero of each other's language, y'all are going to be just communicating through like Google Translate. Like you'll type something in Google Translate and then try to say it. Which that could work, but I've tried that before when I tried to get my language exchange partner the very first time like over a year ago. I didn't know any Spanish, she didn't know any English, so we were just talking through Google Translate. And that didn't really last too, too long. But if that works for you, that works for you. For me, I like somebody to know a little bit more English than I know Spanish. So if I gotta speak more Spanglish than Spanish, I'm good to know and they understand. Now where to find a language exchange partner. There are so many apps out there. There's free ones, there's paid ones. I happen to find mine for the free in a Facebook group. Yes, I just typed in language exchange partners on Facebook join the group, ask somebody if they were interested in teaching Spanish because um, I'm learning Spanish and I will teach you language in exchange. I wrote down what times I'm available, what days of the week, and about what level of Spanish I was on. And people commented and then I DM'd one of the persons, one of the people, and boom, now we talk twice a week, every morning. If you want to go a different route, that's up to you, but I found mine for free in the Facebook group and we've been talking for over a couple weeks now yeah a couple weeks she's great okay once you get your language exchange partner or non-exchange like whatsapps let the first meeting 
be like a vibe check meeting like y'all just get to know each other y'all just talking because i feel like once you do that then you can kind of determine whether or not you guys are going to vibe and actually meet consistently and you'll learn like they're serious of like there are people that want to learn languages right and they're just not disciplined like they like the idea of learning a new language but when it comes down to actually like i want to learn and i'm willing to do all the practice necessary then you'll have those people but if you end up meeting someone who's just in the group just casual about it but you're determined y'all might not buy well and then the lip then the relationship don't last and now you got to go back to square one and find another language exchange partner but if you can find somebody who's as determined to learn the language as you are that'll be perfect so let that first time y'all meet just be a vibe check like okay we're gonna meet every tuesday and thursday at 3 p.m so this first tuesday let's just meet each other and try to figure it out and then the mess meeting that's when y'all be like okay let's focus on home vocabulary let's focus on food let's focus on greetings let's focus on um i don't know ordering food at a restaurant things like that so let that be how you guys introduce yourselves into the scenario the best way to like ensure that you guys are continuing to meet like maintain the relationship is to ask each other about each other's lives don't just try to go in there super formal like okay let's begin today's lesson like ask them how they're doing ask them things about their culture because there's more to learning the language than just learning the words like learning about the different cultures of um the language that they're spoken specifically in that country or that city or that province they're in you're going to learn a bit more about the language as well you're going to learn a little bit more of the uh the pronunciation in which that region you're going to learn a bit of different vocabulary uh different about that culture and things like that like for example my language exchange partner uh she's from argentina and recently they just had 25 de mayo which is argentina's uh independence day because it's is when they became independent from spain i wouldn't have learned that or ha really had any reason to learn that but as i'm learning lang the language um i'm learning about argentinian culture and i plan to go to argentina one day so this is good to know i learned in argentina instead of saying like dinero or peso they say la plata for food for uh, money which is really cool i never knew that and then which is crazy like a couple days i was scrolling on tiktok and watching spanish videos and one body some person was talking about was doing a spanish video on how to save money and somebody in the comments was like we said la plata where from i'm like i just learned that from my argentine language exchange partner i know that too okay so you learn vocabulary which you probably wouldn't learn in a textbook if you're learning that language from a specific country because it's spoken differently all around the world different dialects different accents different slangs things like that so make sure that you guys like are like just having conversation about each other because then you'll end up learning things that you're not going to learn by just watching a movie or asking your neighbor hola como estas or you know in the textbook so you learn things that you probably never thought she was going to need just by having a casual conversation about each other's lives and it makes it more fun and less formal because nobody wants to feel like they're back in the classroom that defeats the whole purpose of this type of like learning do who wants to be in school watching somebody write on a whiteboard uh, yuck. If you are learning Spanish for something super, super, or the second language for something super specific, like say you live in an area that has a lot of Spanish speakers, but those Spanish speakers are Mexican, maybe try to stick to a language exchange partner that is from Mexico. Um, for me, it doesn't matter. Mine is in, from Argentina. Even though I live around like a lot of Mexican uh, Spanish speakers, I'm not really worried about only learning Spanish dialects of Spanish. Like I'm not only learning about learning Mexican dialect of Spanish. Like it doesn't matter to me. But if you're somebody like that who like you are learning it to speak to people that you talk, you come across on a daily basis, and they're from a specific country, learn that dialect. That's gonna be a lot easier, um, especially when it comes to like listening because the accents are going to be different. Like, for example, she says, um, like, where she's from, she says, like, in her province, the double L, they pronounce it like, ja, like, me jamo. But she says, in a couple hours lower of Argentina, they say, ja, like, me jamo. But when I learned Spanish here in America, they teach you me llamo. So just that little piece of, like, the, the pronunciation of llamo, 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 
shop more. Like, depending on where you are in the world, you might be confused. Like, are they saying a new word? Is it different? So if you know that the people that you're trying to learn to speak Spanish to speak a certain dialect, stick to that, okay? Having my language exchange partner has really boosted my confidence because talking to someone in the second language you're trying to learn can be very cringy and embarrassing. But, oh well, it's helped me improve my language learning comprehension, expanding my vocabulary, and I get, to, I get to help her out too. I get to help her, you know, learn language and learn some American slang. And it's really fun to language exchange partner. Let me know and tell them I sent you.